Well, a win is always acceptable, and the Colorado Buffaloes got one on family weekend here at Coors Field. 21-12, to they knock off the University of Hawaii. Hi, everybody. Alongside Larry Seymour, I'm Mark Johnson. Partner, nice win for the Buffs. Certainly some blemishes in this one. A lot to work on for this young football team, but they got a win, and we haven't called a lot of those in recent years, so we'll take it. I'll guarantee you, I'll take it any any day. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things in this game. We talked about Hawaii uh, really cutting teams off in the second half. And, uh, you know, they played three pretty good teams before they played the Buffs, and they did that again today. But Colorado's defense was up to the task. It takes both sides, and uh, they twice stopped Hawaii in the second half down inside the red zone, one after an interception that gave them the ball inside the red zone to start off with. That, that meant field goals instead of touchdowns and the way the game went, uh, it was important. Well, the Buffaloes held a team without a touchdown an entire ball game for the first time since Wyoming in 2009. That was a game in which the Buffs shut out the Cowboys. And I don't care what level you're playing at. If uh, you don't allow a team over 300 yards in this day and age of college football, the Buffs surrender 287 yards today. That's a good day defensively. Absolutely. And how about uh, Mr. Spruce? Yeah. Uh, I mean, 13 catches, that's a school record. Nelson also had 172 yards. That's his third game over 100 out of four games. And I, I tell you what, he's off to a great, great start this year. Yep, first game of the season, he did not have two uh, receptions for touchdowns in a ball game. But he's Told got him seven. he had to get three next week. That's right, to make up for that. Yeah, he's got seven <laughs> touchdowns now in four games this season, and he's putting his name on the map. In fact, Mike McIntyre told us on the radio afterward, he said if he's not a first-team All-Pac-12 selection, right. I don't know who is. Impressive. Okay, now the bus move on. We'll be in Berkeley, California next week against the Cal Bears. You're jumping into the deep end of the pool. Not that Cal's going to compete for the championship this season, but better teams, better athleticism. Buffs have got to get better in many respects. I agree. And, and they've got to continue making that step every week, as we've talked about. And they're going to have to play better next week than they have all year if they're going to come away with a win in Berkeley. Uh, I saw Cal play Northwestern earlier. This is a better football team than it was a year ago, yeah. just yeah. As, as Colorado is. So the Buffs have to go out there and play well and take that next step. Still some of those consistency issues we've talked right. about, but a young team's getting better, and they end it with a win here today, 21-12 over the University of Hawaii. Again, next week we'll be in Berkeley, California. It's the Golden Bus versus the Golden Bears. We will hit the air at just after 12 o'clock noon Mountain Time on our flagship 850 KOA. Our network affiliates pick up at 1235, and then the Buffs and the Bears at just after 2 o'clock Mountain Time will come to you from Berkeley. For Larry Zimmer, I'm Mark Johnson. Thanks for joining us on our bus recap here on 850KOA.com.